Um, so we're called to order at 7 15. Yeah. And I'm um, glad to have Crystal. Okay. Thank you. I have an opening reflection here. I guess this is from Mark or this is from you. Anybody who wants to give an opening reflection may. Okay. Um, so would you like to tell us about the inauguration of President Danielle Hoyden? Well, I did that last week. That's last week. But you did? I did because yep. I did attend and I said it was just magnificent and okay. she has a very strong um, beloved president already it's great it's cool. cool. great what i saw of her online it's all smiles everybody mm -hmm. does anybody have opening reflections on the hadley learns stuff that's been going on crystal were you able to make it to the zoom last time? i did but my computer the yes i know the audio would not connect and it kept going in and out. So fortunately, I was unable to attend. But we, are, I, I did see there's a, I guess, a talk or a reading next Wednesday in regards to it. So hopefully, I'll be able to go to that instead of not going. I did. I wanted to attend really when I was on Oh. I hope that works because Wednesday is a night that I haven't worked. Yeah, no, I, I want. I think it would benefit someone from our committee to be yeah, there. Definitely. That's why Very I tried much. so hard to be there. Yeah. There early, and it just I just kept going in and out. It just was not something I wanted other people to experience. Not hearing my voice, me not hearing them. So yeah. nice of you to try. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I did email. Narrow and apologize. Hopefully, everything will be all set for next week. Okay. Um, shall we review the minutes? Mm -hmm. And if I hear anyone who would like to take a little time with this or a motion to accept, I gave. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, it's been. I, I gave her the edits. I gave her three, four, five edits. Would you just speak those? Certainly. Or... Any other edits that anyone else notes? Uh, well, maybe I'll tell you. Joanne is proposing approval of the minutes. Is that right, Joanne, with the following edit? Correct. Okay. Um, but maybe so, people need to know what they are. Yeah. Yep. Number five, new business D. Third bullet. The title of the book is Poverty by America. Um, D. Fourth bullet. No, fifth bullet. It's a Springfield Republican. My apologies to that okay. news source. Um, the seventh bullet, um, the addition of the, T-H-E, the group shared some of the constraints. Oh, yeah. Um, under open agenda, number six, C, the meeting was not three days ago. It is 1019, which is today. And then under adjournment, 7A. Last sentence, a vote of five to one, not five four, to five to zero, not four. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for catching sure. all these. It was five edits. to zero or five to one? Not the, no, the word of, uh, instead of the word or. The word, it says vote or. Oh, it oh, well, should be up. Some that, yeah. You're good proofreader. I, I proofread my husband's eight yes. inches. Okay. So, Pat, I'll wait for you to send me the corrected PDF before I put it up on the website. That is great. I will do that. And are we up to date on that? Yep. Excellent. Great.
So I did move to approve. That's right. I'm okay. to approve as edited. So there's a motion on the floor yes. to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. There's no. Yes. So that's no, unanimous. That's the, uh, Ayes passed. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's been a long time since I chaired a meeting. It's doing great. Yeah, you're so doing far, so good. I did. Yes. And you're the chair. That's amazing. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Yeah. I find it as amazing as anybody else. <laughs> I mean, you're sweet. Uh, I'm happy when I find the right room these days. It's very good. Okay. Um, old business. Senior Center CDI movie matinee will be October 20th. Uh, at what time? 12.30 p.m. 12.30 p.m. And then it's in the Senior Center, People of the Feather, Survival in the Canadian Park. Wow. And I, be there. I was going to volunteer to go over to Atkins and get some goodies, because I think I can manage that. I don't think I can bake, but I can go buy something. That lovely. would be very nice. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Yeah. And it is October. It's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything else on that? Um, Will will not be able to attend. We hope to attend, but he isn't able to. He has a big project. He's a doctoral stu student at UMass, and it's not finished yet, so he can't come. But Kayla will be there. And Kayla is um, our, our conservation agent. And if you go, please introduce yourself to her. She's new to town. She's lovely. And she wants to hear... Um, people's thoughts on the environment and some of mm. the concerns. So after the film, she's going to just, if there's time, just listen to what people have to say. Cool. Anything else on that? The, um, are there questions for the HR director? And when, if you need to, there's a lot of these things are referring to the old business old on business. that agenda yeah. that yeah. could help. Okay. Just, just to take a quick refer reference to yeah. it. Um, I didn't have a chance to review our Zoom recording with Ed O'Connor, but I did glance over my notes, some of which are comprehensible after all this time. <laughs> but some of them are not. Like, you know, he would like to have had a DEI expert to give a second reading and do some outside training. Mm. Um, he talked about looking for neutral language in job descriptions. Mm -hmm. um, apparently there's an algorithm that can kind of suss out whether you're using masculine coded or feminine coded words. This was the first I've heard of that. So I don't know if the new person, if that's something the new person has is that much further forward on or no? Oh. Um, and just us asking, how can we help? And it was like, can we suggest somebody who could do diversity training? Mm -hmm. Since none of us have those qualifications, we would need to go out and look for someone. This person would not. Well, Troy Brim would not do that kind of training. I don't know. If I understand you correctly, out if you're, you're you're looking at your notes from our meeting with the last HR right, person, right, because and now this is a new one, right? So you're revisiting to see if there's are there things that would also that he would have okay expertise in or would want to know about or be you know things that we would want to bring to his attention. Will the diversity person have to be trained, or can it be someone of age and experience? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that much I mean, experience. You could age. ask. That's a good question. That's a question. I think what right, you're saying is bringing that, that you could bring say that prior 
HR person would have brought this up. Yeah. And, and, so, and we want to know if yeah. you want us to bring this forward. Yeah. Or does he already know somebody? Maybe he's already qualified. I don't right. know. Refresh me on this. Or is this committee going to present questions to him? Yeah, yeah. For him to answer to he, us. He'd like to know ahead of time, is my understanding. Right. Like what he's kind going of to come to our next meeting? No, no not the next meeting, but a meeting. We have to yeah. invite him and arrange it. Yeah. But we, we can wait another meeting and invite him for December. But we, he wants questions in advance. Yeah, sure. Oh, totally. Yeah, that back. makes sense. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 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 He wants to plan. I mean, I would be interested also in in just um, employee hiring. I'd be interested in hiring, like recruitment strategies. Right. Like recruitment strategies. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Would he like to have in place, or does he have in place to to recruit a diverse workforce? Mm -hmm. Is it again recruitment strategy? What strategy do you have in place or, or wish to have in place to recruit a diverse workforce? I'm going to think of some questions as well to present. Maybe I'll bring that to the next meeting and then we can see how that sounds. And I know I was going to watch the video because we met with Ed on Zoom, which was still during the pandemic, and so the Zoom was recorded. And it's in our YouTube playlist. So if you go, forget how I got there, but from the town website to the CDEI page to something, mm -hmm. I forget exactly. I have all the tabs open in a row on my computer. <laughs> and <laughs> and a week ago, and I, you know, so. What was the date of that? It was in May of 2021. Yeah, we have that. Okay. What month did you say, sir? May, 24th of May, 2021. And the, the, the town's YouTube channel has like playlists or whatever they call it for different committees. So ours are all in a group together. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. You don't have to wade through every yeah, other yeah. committee just to find our stuff. It's all in one playlist. Yeah, there's well, that's there. great because I have to roll down it. So we should recommend to us to prepare questions at our next meeting for him. Right. And then, and then we after can... that meeting, we can formalize them and ask them and ask him when he can right. meet with us. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And this is what we this is what we agreed here. The group of breach review the mission, our mission, and compile and send to add a list of potential questions. So that's right here. Yeah. So we're so we can so each do that bringing that forward. Yeah, and we can do that after this meeting, between this meeting and next, as long as we get it to Pat and everybody can see it. Right. Okay. And I, I think Pat, didn't we actually try to do that between last meeting and this meeting? And I think that I know I didn't reply. Um, I just, so we don't do homework well. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> I certainly didn't. I, I didn't. I think really better was. when 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 we're in the group. Yeah. You know, and I'm off. And I'm yeah. Whatever in my life, I, I have to get in the the headspace. <laughs> For those of us who can and didn't see the last meeting, which would be me, it would be good to review that and to submit some questions with the idea that at our next meeting, one agenda item will be to compile those questions yeah. Yeah. and put them in a certain form that, that can be sent to him. Yeah. And ask him to uh, set a date to, to meet with us. Right. Yeah. We should probably give him options January or February. Well, I think we were going to ask him to come to one of our meetings, our already determined meetings. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, I'm just going to say, yeah. are we going to meet in January? If we are. We yeah. need to decide if we're going to ask him for January or February. And all the dates are already on here, so we have all our dates. So are we going to come in January? Probably. Okay. That's what I would. December dates the twenty first. Yeah. <laughs> we might not have a quorum. Yeah, the twenty first is is right in the middle of, of 
lots of holidays, so I wasn't sure right. how that would work. So maybe we could suggest the 18th of January after the home. I think that would be logical. Yeah. Yeah. And in between this meeting and the November meeting, we should know which of us can meet in December yes. and make a decision about that meeting. Yeah, or if we need to move the date. Yeah, yes. Move the date or mm -hmm. whatever yeah, we'll to adjust. Anything else on this, uh, on our mm -hmm. time with Troy Brown and questions for him? I, I think it would be helpful if we get our questions together and get them to Pat. She might see if there's duplicate questions. Right. And I would do that. And she would, and then present she, uh, what, uh, what we all said. And I know we did something like that months ago where we all had questions and we sent to you and you go, oh, there were questions about the, the, the housing right. meeting. We, we threw our questions and she now uh, piled them all together. I think that's what I just suggested. Exactly. Oh, okay. That I thought be, you said to bring them here. No, be in touch with her. Okay, great. Yeah. Perfect. Her her and she can compile them. Yeah. Perfect. Much. And Perfect. Yeah. I will, since I'm pretty, pretty sure I still have that tab open in my computer, I will send the link directly to the Ed O'Connor video to the rest of the committee. So if you want to review it to kind of jog your memory about ideas to ask. Smart. You can, yeah, and let's try to do that. Well, that try to would do that help this get week the, rather than the, head the week shape. before the meeting. <laughs> right. That would be helpful. Yeah. So at our next meeting, we will compile these questions and propose a time to invite him to our meeting. Sure. Right, but you're going to send me the questions in advance. Yes. And, yes. Already, and then I'll have a list, and I'll give them how. They will already be compiled. I'll compiled. By our yeah. next yeah. meeting, we'll have com a compilation yeah. of those That's questions, right. and we can exactly. review them. Exactly. And yes. then decide, decide a date to invite him. Okay. And, okay? and if I might add, the way you send these out, I feel like a week ahead of time, which is awesome, Hopefully, we get them to you so you can send them. Oh, great. Time to, yeah. you know, go to review ahead okay. of time. All right. At okay. least that would work for me. That sounds great. So that means we have to get on it. Yeah. Okay. So at least a week in advance for me. Yeah. Well, she would need them before. That's what I'm saying. She would need them at least a week before. Yeah. Right. But she but usually so sends these out a week. I try really hard. Oh, for two weeks. Oh, so okay. we need to get these back to you in the next couple So of weeks. that's included. Can you? But yes. Our next meeting is scheduled for what day? Uh, the 16th of November. So a week before the 16th, we she have the question. We have to get them to her two weeks in advance that. so that she can then send these to us in a week in advance. Okay. So we have two weeks from now. Right. Correct. I'll we'll send them to Pat. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Without watching the video, which I will send. And I would say perhaps election day on the 7th of November should be a day that you think those questions. <laughs> Day. So look, I like that. I'm going to put it in like seven. Or just my questions. Okay. okay. Have I watched the video? I know that that's, that's, I like your thinking. Get yeah, out your date books. I put yeah. Santa Pat by November 7th. There we go. It's not something too hard. It's not hard. Just think of the question type of money. Yeah. All right. Put right. on your date books. Anything yeah. else on this issue? Okay. Anything else? Okay. Moving on to new business. Um, Mark Dunn has suggested that we advertise the Stirring the Ashes program at the Porter Phelps Huntington Museum. Um, and we advertise on quarter sheets. What's a quarter sheet? So where are you? I'm lost. Those are the numbers five. New business, five oh, A. The, turn it over. No, old business. I'm on the agenda. Are you on the no, minutes? No, we're on this page. Number five. Right, but, but we're I'm on the we're on the agenda. But he's reading he's business the agenda. So we're now to PR update with So you've already done that. We did. That was for the minutes. Yeah. Okay. So that those yeah, they're just okay. referring. Excuse me. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll share. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Well, I'm go our way. We'll we'll sit on. <laughs> but now we're at 4C. Four, four four exactly. Okay. okay. And I will tell you about Jason Burns and 
um, the Indigenous Peoples Project, uh, the Hopkins faculty has decided that they want to go um, to focus more broadly on um, diverse peoples, not only Indigenous people. So they're still developing that. And so the question is, would we like to work with the faculty at Hopkins, I think it's a social studies faculty, on this bigger project, as opposed to the more narrow project that Jason worked on in this particular class. That sounds wonderful. My initial question is how could we help them? They're, they're more adept at this than I could possibly be. Well, remember we just brought refreshments and helped them set up the library when they had their displays. We were more of a support team than an academic, like we didn't provide scholarship, we provided more service in yeah. the right But he's system. talking about the faculty at Hopkins getting together and planning this event. And then we provide support to them. So we sort of co-sponsor it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And is it the the broader um, topic, is the broader topic of interest to us for co-sponsorship. Yeah. What would it mean practically? Would they mean I can they're, they're likely to meet at school, right? The presentation, like the last no. time we partnered. Well, we're not talking about the presentation. The presentation was at the library. We're talking about them developing this project. Oh, okay. Among the faculty. The, yeah. They're going to do that, and then they're going to ask us if we would like to partner with you to provide support. So our part would be in helping with the presentation that of what they have good. done. Supporting the presentation. Last time, you know, they had students do presentations. And I think this is a great idea. Yeah. Sure. Anything we can do. If they're doing all that work, and mm -hmm. I think it's a great boon for us to be able to present it to the community. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I would heartily mm -hmm. endorse that. Mm -hmm. We need to find out. From Jason, what that entails, and when do they have a target date for that, and that kind the of spring. thing? The spring. So I think the end of the school year, toward the end of the school year. So no, we have a, yeah. we have several months to do yeah. that, and they will have developed that. So we let Jason know when you have come to conclusions, and you have a presentation to make. Let us know how we can help. Mm -hmm in a, some sort of public meeting. And it may be that they meet with us first, mm -hmm. and, but how they want the yeah, end game to go. Okay. And we'll, mm -hmm. we will do what we can do to support the public meeting. Yeah. I think that's wonderful what we're cool. doing. Yeah. It'd be very hard for us to get involved in the yeah. actual doing of the Oh, no, we just want to support it. Like we did when, when they did this, when, when it was right. just Jason. And yeah. it was at the library. So it was, mm -hmm. that might, may have be, might be a big event in their cafeteria, but that's up to them. Somebody so, wanted to describe what Jason did before with this committee. We we partnered with him once before. Right. Tuyela was very involved mm -hmm. being a yeah. teacher. <laughs> right. right. And she was here, but a lot of us moved tables. So yeah. they, the, uh, posters could be on yes. display. We provided refreshments. Jason, Jason had his assigned his class projects for those who would take it on. Uh, researching, I forget exactly. Nations of nations of indigenous people. And, right. and, and yeah, and all of that. And they had several several students took him up on that. Mm -hmm. And so we sponsored a night here in the library where uh, they presented their their projects and their findings and distributed their materials mm -hmm. and we were the hosts and i'm assuming this is sort of what you're talking about now mm -hmm. that's a wonderful oh, yeah, it's it's terrific. Terrific. yeah they do all the work and they, we give, yeah. they do the work and we give refreshments i like that yeah. <laughs> and then the energy and, and i remember I, it drew a lot of um parents but also grandparents. Yeah. And I like that a lot. It's oh, yeah. a multi-generational event. So and because because the, the students were presenting and the families came to hear them talk or to look at their posters. And it was a really it was a good night. We've talked several times about what we can do yeah. to interrupt and interact with the with the community mm -hmm. and how we 
people can get to know about us. Uh, and it's going to be through things like this that exactly. we sponsor. People are not going to go hunting yeah. for us on the web. No, but that's true. No. Uh, so if any kind of partnerships that we can have to support this mm -hmm. kind of activity, I think is wonderful. Mm -hmm. that's, it is. It's amazing that they're expanding it as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Jason led this. Jason was the initiator of this project mm -hmm. before with his class. Mm -hmm. So he's done this before and he does good work. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. And so he's uh, very familiar with everything. He, uh, yeah, he makes it happen. There you go. Anything else about this? We're going to, would you write him, Pat, and well, say, I will we want to help in whatever way we can? Yeah, and I will. As soon as they give us dates. Um, Great. So, establishment of annual CBEI celebratory educational events. So, along with what we're talking about doing with them, mm -hmm. we have discussed several times what we can do publicly. And thanks to Pat, we have sponsored some videos that have been seen, that have mm -hmm. been offered to the public mm -hmm. about various subjects. And it's good that we do more. Um, so we need to find people with specific who can help us do this and who can suggest specific things that we can sponsor. Do we, are there people like Jason that we could contact who would know what these things are in each of these areas and who would likely help us know what we can do to help someone else mm -hmm. present to the community. Mm -hmm. Probably the subject would be uh, determined when and to what group, but this facility is usually open to us, mm -hmm. to anybody in the community, to, to present things to the community and be working with their schedule. I'm sure they would be happy to do that again. I can definitely look into something. That would be great. I know someone who's very much within the community, and she's she's has her hands on quite a few things at UMass, dealing with diversity. And I can speak with her to see if she has any programs in mind that would be willing to come to Hadley to speak or even show a film mm -hmm. in regards to ancestry as well. Mm -hmm. you know, you never know what she can produce produce to our community to assist us with understanding the diversity. So I can definitely reach out to her and get back to you with that pad if that's okay. One of the very effective ones was a film about um, indigenous people in the West and what they were doing on their own. That was very informative. I had no idea these things were happening. Uh, various projects, but a, a man who opened a restaurant which served American Indian food wow. and for instance, and he did it all in one. There were several like this, mm -hmm. and it was a film about the documentary. That was Gather. Yeah, so, it was called Gather. Yeah, it was called Gather. Yeah, it was yeah. really good. That was terrific. Right. So that kind of thing yeah. is something that we can really do for the community and as a way to connect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll let people know we're here. I think it's very important to do public events. I think this um, was on on the agenda in part because we we realized that we already were, uh, you know, doing something about these. Mm -hmm. Number one, collaborating with the senior center mm -hmm. to 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 help. We had a say in picking these films. These were films for all these. We picked Gather, as I recall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just reiterating that I want. I'd love us to keep doing that. The collaboration with the senior yes. center. Um. But notice that we've also started to spread the word, like below here, stirring the ashes. That's another program. But the more that we can, you know, find out what is already going on, and amplify and promote. That that's a that's a level of collaboration that I think is doable. It, it'd be hard if we all were to actually host something just us, mm -hmm. you know. But um, 
I'm thinking that that collaborating with with the senior center to get films is Good is point. working. Good point. Keep it up. Yeah. And I remember when when June was coming along. I don't have the notes right here handy, but we all had oh the Greenfield's doing this and Northampton's doing that, and, and we had you know there. So it sounds like we're kind of evolving into a committee that wants to collaborate. Yeah. Oh yeah. And and so if, if we hear of things and tell each other, I guess the the piece here is 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 there any way that we can get that message out? Like we don't have a a, a list of followers or anything, but yeah, I'm not saying we have to do that. But mm -hmm. us knowing about it and us you know, participating, I mean, we have. I went to. You know, all of us have gone to some of these. Yeah. And so I think that's really what we great. can do is yeah. to find people who are presenting interesting things and bringing those to the community and support them. Right. And invite them and do whatever we need to do to uh, to rent the room, to publicize, or whatever. Yeah. I think if we're looking for those kinds of things. Yeah. The ones in the past have been a great yeah. success, as yeah. you said. Yeah. So let's just keep on the lookout for groups yep. that are doing exactly. these presentations. Mm -hmm. And if something's been done in Greenfield, that doesn't mean it can't be repeated here. If there was a good yeah, right. presentation in some place like Greenfield or mm -hmm. anywhere, mm -hmm. people in Hadley are not necessarily going to have gone to it. So to oh, preserve true. in our home yes. community again, even if it's just up the road, I think those are fair game. You remind me, I attended a presentation on the history of slavery in Springfield, in the, in, in the Valley, and the presenter was from Springfield, involved in the colleges, but he gave it in East Hampton, and it was hybrid, so I got on Zoom, and then I read in the paper, he was doing the same presentation up in South Deerfield. That's so, actually the way it works. Right. These you know, people said so that. Yeah. You you get them and so in terms of Hadley, I I guess I hear of things that are open to the public likely to be here at the senior center or the library. Is, is that true? Mm -hmm. So oh, I was at the library when I heard the read uh, went to the uh, the talk by the author who who wrote, wrote a book about uh, a couple who had been slaves living in New England. I've forgotten the name, but oh. You know about that book. I remember you talking about it. It was fascinating. So I think the so, thing yeah. for us to do is to keep an ear out yeah. and an eye out for those things and then bring it to our meetings. Exactly. And we make a list mm -hmm. and yeah. find out how we can support these people. Right. So each of us will have connections with programs mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So let's just begin to make our own list and yeah. contact them and support them. Mm -hmm. And we can run interference here by running this place, by publicizing, mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. doing all those things. But first, we need to know what it is we want to do. And hearing about a program in Greenfield is great. You did it there, do it here. Yeah. yeah. It's this kind of program. I, I should have taken local. I should have taken note of who sponsored that. But that's one of the reasons why uh, um, um, Megan was mm -hmm. can't come. She had lots of good ideas. She still gets these minutes, right? She's yeah, okay, good. But she still. So that'll be our assignment as members of the community to just keep our ears and eyes open for programs that we might sponsor here in Hadley. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, yeah. when you see them, if you don't want to wait until our meeting, you can always send it to Pat or to me or to Mark and okay. say, I want this on the next agenda. Right. Uh, on the next meeting, I want to put this on our list. And maybe we keep a running list of things we would like to sponsor and just make that a permanent part of our agenda. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we tend to I mean, think locally is good in some instances, but if you think only locally, you miss a lot of stuff yeah. because there's a lot going on. So yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. So there you mass alone. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, So we're on five, and we talked about uh, those two recent programs. Well, stirring the ashes, is that what we were just talking about? No, yeah, she's got a report. I can tell Okay. Both Chris and I attended the Great. program Stirring the Ashes. 
Um, you want to start? Yeah. Well, it was very, very informative, and it it actually touched my heart some because I have never witnessed anything like that in my life before. Mm. I've seen it on TV. Can you describe what it? So it was it was a woman. I didn't get her name. She was a speaker, and she was pretending to be the slave. Uh -huh. And she was speaking in third person, and she described her life. She described her family's run from that life. She described the absence of love in her life, the absence of security. And she described how, regardless of all of the trials and tribulations that they experienced, they still fought through all of the adversities. She also described the living conditions, which were very, not poor, but small. She was in the, the attic of the home. And as she stated, in New England, it gets very hot and very cold. Um, and she, to me, the attitude and the character just, just stay positive. Mm -hmm. They did not see any any sadness as far as what what they are trying to attain. You can hear the sadness from the history and the past where they come from, but just being around each other for the family that they had were able to contain and were able to sustain that life gives you an idea of mm. the struggle and the strength of a person mm. as long as they can have support. And it just was amazing. It, it's it's you go ahead because it's and I would say it's it's really worth seeing. Yeah, um, Alex did a beautiful job filming the entire Ooh. service, and you can see it. And I I was seated next to him, and I could see him like uh, moving in close as wow. as the speaker. The the woman I think you're talking about who spoke um, in in the voice right. of the enslaved person did it with such um passion right. and it, it it was as if you were hearing that person but but it was the um it was the recognition of the six lives of the enslaved people at this home can you enter that into the minutes so that we they know what we're talking about. I, I think I'll. I, yes, I will, yes, yes, I will use this to do that, right. and then maybe I can even find a link. I think that I like sent a link to Mark. I didn't receive a link. Maybe yeah. just Mark and me. Right. And so I will. I will send it, and it's it's long. Yeah, it's like an hour and a half, right? Or two hours. Yeah, it might be two it, hours. It might be two hours. But, but it, yeah. it's very powerful, yes. and it's it's right in the barn of the home. And it was a fairly w rainy day. It wasn't completely rainy. It was cold. Where was it home? It, it's at the um, Port of Phelps, Port of Phelps, mm -hmm. Huntington um, home. Mm -hmm. And it, it was dark, and it was cool, and it was it was really powerful. Right? It was really powerful. On the African American um, choir. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. They say, they yeah. say, yeah. And um, but it's really it. You know, when we were talking about. You know, finding resources. I don't know if it would be possible for that film to be edited in a way that you could show it during Black History Month. I don't think you could do the whole two hours, right. but um, maybe parts of it. Parts of it. Parts of it. Yeah. And then.